Yeah, you're a little. <laughs> hey. Toby. You ever uh, done a dirt bike motor before? No, I have not done. I haven't done any motors. So no two stroke, no nothing. nothing. Okay. Nothing. How's your teeth? It's feeling better. All right. Like a lot better. So you did the crank transmission, crank transmission top end in this, and put the cases together. And what do you, what do you got to say to your team for helping you out? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for taking over when I was gone. Okay. So a bunch of these peeps all helped you out. So you're ready to fire this up. Yeah. You're ready to break yourself in. This project this year is a really good example of uh, people having to come alongside each other and help out. We had the one student really started it and uh, did just the majority of the work, uh, Jacob there. And uh, what a learning experience. Uh, first time doing a lot of these uh, things, even from installing a bearing or different things. So I knew he was really excited to get it going. And then uh, right towards the end, once the motor was in place, uh, literally didn't have the clutch and fluids in it. and. Uh, had to get his wisdom teeth pulled, I think is what it was, so or a root canal. But regardless, uh, really appreciate the other students, Leah, and, and even some others just really stepping up. And then uh, really had to learn and take a look at what happens when you didn't organize something, you didn't set things out. Uh, there's definitely those challenges, but that's the real world. You're going to have to put things together that other people took apart, and you need a system to be able to do that. You need to systematically be able to uh, make that happen. So you can see the success. You can see the motorcycle running and uh, a little fine-tuning few things and uh, uh, do it all over again. All right. Thanks for watching.